Hello everyone, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In this video, we are going to make this 3D log animation. So now let's start the video. First, I'm going to use this logo. So I have this logo in Illustrator, and I'm going to copy all of this path to After Effects. So what After Effects? Let's create a new composition. I'm going to rename it to Main and 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel, 30 frame rate per second, and duration I'm choosing 15 second. Then hit OK. Now let's create a new solid and I'm going to rename it to main so now let's create a new solid and rename it to mask1 now let's create this shape from illustrator copy and paste it to mask1 and then again create another new solid and rename it to mask2 and then copy all of this now you can close all of them and then let's create another new solid I rename it to 11 3d and change its color to black and then hit ok now go to effect and go to video couple and select eleven 3d and from here go to custom layer and from custom task and mask select layer mask 1 2 3 4 and then 5 now just click on the send setup and it will create our eleven 3d interface here and from here click on extrude so this is our side circle let's change its extrude size to and select this and change path resolution to extreme now let's duplicate this select and change it to custom path to and again duplicate change to custom path 3 again and again duplicate change it to custom path 5 select this drag it little bit here ok I think now it's perfect now select this go to presets and from here go to pro shader 2 select metal and I'm going to use some material here so I'm going to choose this ok now let's create a new plane and change its size to 50 by 50 and now change its orientation to negative and select this go to UV mapping and change its UV to be 10 by 10 Now select this, let's do reflect mode to use mirror surface. Okay, now select this and change its auxiliary animation to channel 1 for this channel 2, this channel 3, channel 4. Okay, now let's set OK. Now go to render setting, go to ambient occlusion and check it. Change this intensity to 5 and radius also 5. Now let's create a new camera. I'm using 28 mm. Hit OK. Select element 3D, then go to group 1 from here. Select auxiliary channel. 
and from here select NL2 go to rotation and change it rotation something like this create a keyframe here go to around 10 second and make it zero again go to first frame then go to channel 4 rotation make it something like this create a keyframe go to around 10 second again and make it zero then go to first frame go to channel 5 and then rotation again okay create a keyframe here you can go to around 10 second and make it zero okay now let's animate the camera so select this camera and then click here let's zoom it go to around 2 second select this press ctrl shift d and then move this position to something like here and zoom it make it like this Go to around something like five second and then select this control shift D and then move it to something like this point. Go to around eight second and again press control shift D to cut it here and then move it to here. Press Ctrl Shift D, select this and reset camera setting. And select this, press P and Shift D, create a keyframe here, go to around 14 second and make it something like this. And then again go to same setup, change the single light to natural. Now create a new group, move this to here, change it to group 2. Hit OK. Now drag this to out of this, select this, create a new group, and drag this to. Make it to group 2. Click here. Now go to something like this. Go to group 2 and then go to particle loops. Then create a keyframe here. Go to around something like 12 second. Make this opacity to 0. Okay, now let's create a new adjustment layer. Then go to effects, magic bullet, and select the logs. Go to edit. Select this, hit OK. Now you can create another new adjustment layer. And apply curves. Okay. 
again create another new adjustment and then again go to looks look here let's put focus hit ok and change this opacity to 15 and then 25 ok ok now let's see the preview So this is the animation for today, hope you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, I'll be back with new tutorials soon, till then take care, bye bye.